Hello students and today we're going to talk about chapter 5 and in that chapter we discuss the special journals. Um, we've been using in the past, we've been using the general journal, so don't forget the general journal because we will continue to use it, but we won't con uh, use it quite as much as we have in the past. Um, the chapter 5 is kind of a standalone chapter. Um, the author set it up that way so the instructors could either teach it or not, depending on whether they choose to. Uh, so once you get to chapter 6, you will continue with the general journal and general journal type entries as you have in previous chapters. And this is the only place that you will see the special journals. I do th think it's important to teach it though so that you understand what the special journals are. Um, and you might see them later on uh, when you're actually recording or reviewing accounting records. Okay. Um, there are four special journals. We have the Cash Receipts Journal, Cash Payments Journal, Revenue Journal, and Purchases Journal. And of course we always have the General Journal as I said before. Now the purpose of these special journals is to put like transactions in one place. And uh, if you're doing a manual posting system or a manual system, it does cut down on the manual posting because you will be posting from totals instead of individual amounts. Uh, however, we do know that most companies use computer systems, but even in computer systems, uh, the information is separated in cash receipts and cash disbursements or cash payments and that type of thing. So you're going to see them in a computer system uh, even if your company is using a computer system. So that's why uh, another reason why it's important that you, uh, that you learn them. Okay? Let's talk about what goes into these journals because uh, the very first thing you need to do when you're looking at your transactions is decide which journal it goes into. And then once you decide what journal it goes into, it's, it's a, fair, a fairly straightforward process of just putting uh, the information in the journal and then following through with the posting. Um, okay, in your cash receipts journal, you're going to have all cash that's coming in. That could be cash sales or cash um, revenue uh, of some type. Uh, it could be uh, payment on account. It could be uh, interest on a loan. Any interest that's coming in uh, would go into cash receipts. Okay? Any cash that's going out would go in cash payments. So if you see the word paid in the transaction, it would go in cash payments. If you see cash received, it would go in cash receipts. Okay, then we get down to the revenue journal. Now the revenue journal um, has your revenue in it except it only has revenue on account. So it would be revenue where you are going to debit accounts receivable and credit some type of revenue account. That's the only type of revenue that goes through the revenue journal. If it is cash revenue, it goes through the cash receipts journal. The purchases journal also the only purchases that go through here are purchases on account where you would generate uh, a credit to accounts payable. Okay, So uh, your purchases journal only has um, transactions or purchases that are on account or accounts payable. And that's a, a good way to remember it. Um, your revenue journal, you're going to only have um, revenue that goes into accounts receivable. Uh, purchases journal, you're only going to have purchases that goes into accounts payable. Any cash revenue, any cash goes through cash receipts, any cash received, any cash paid goes through cash payments. Now, what we're going to do is look at each individual, each individual transaction. And if the transaction will fit into one of these special journals, that's where you're supposed to put it. Everything else will go into the general journal. Now, one um, error that students make uh, with special journals is that they will try to put them in uh, the special journals and then they'll try also to put them in the general journal. You don't do that. If the transaction goes in a special journal, it does not go in the general journal. But if it does not go in a special journal, then yes, you need to put it in the general journal. An example of an entry that would go in the general journal would be the adjusting entries or the closing entries because they're not associated with any of these uh, activities. Um, so you just have to kind of analyze the transaction, look at what you have, and decide what journal to put it in, then put it in the journal. And you do have some uh, exercises and problems that will help you work through that, but if you have any questions on this, let me know. Thanks.